It is Sunday, August 8th, 2021, and on this week's edition of Sunday Sofa Time, I'm gonna give you all the details of my upcoming ocean cruise on a cruise line I have never cruised with before. Stay tuned. Of course, it is not actually August 8th. It's actually still July right now. As I said in last week's Sunday Sofa Time, I'm still sitting here. I just finished filming Sunday Sofa Time from last week and I'm sitting here to film this one today so this can go online, but I'm actually on the river cruise right now on the Plan Tours Roos Prestige. And where are we today? It's the 8th, so we are in Bratislava in Slovakia. But I wanted to, like I said, film a video, get this online in advance, and I wanted to tell you about our next cruise, and I say our because Marcus is coming along this time, but it's not gonna be for me just a vacation. I'm going to be making a ton of videos and I'm really excited about it. Sorry, I have the information down here. This is always, usually this area is where I have any kind of information and up there is where our television is. And so information, television. And the kitchen's over there and the dining room's over here. Should I just give you a full house tour? Let's go. Kidding. Tangent. Okay, let's get back to business. When you think of the major popular cruise lines nowadays that are sort of mainstream, there's a handful that I think come to mind that sort of any average Joe who's not as into cruising as you and I are would know. And I'm talking about like Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Carnival, Disney, maybe Queen Mary, Cunard, I guess that's sort of a more European thing, celebrity, and then another U European one would be like MSC and Princess. And I've cruised with a lot of these, but there's one that I've been looking forward to for a while that has brought out some really cool ship innovations and stuff like that that I haven't tried yet, and that is Celebrity. And in fact, I think at this very moment, while I'm cruising on the Roos Prestige on the Donau River, I think Tony from Lalito Loca. I think he's on a celebrity cruise right now, isn't he? And didn't Emma just do another celebrity cruise? All these people cruising celebrity, and we're gonna do it now too. We've actually booked about five weeks in advance. <laughs> What's wrong with us? We're usually so last minute, but here we are. Here's our confirmation right here. So I'm so excited. We're gonna be cruising with the brand new Celebrity Apex, which is like the Celebrity Edge, but newer. Not only is this going to be a new ship for me, a new cabin class, but we're going also to destinations that I've never been. So I just wanted to sit down here and give you a quick little rundown of what this cruise is going to be all about. We're cruising the Celebrity Apex. We are leaving on August 28th. So it's like three weeks from the time you see this. And we are flying down to Athens, Greece. Uh, the name of the harbor is Piraeus, of course. We're gonna be flying there the night before, but actually we haven't booked the flights in the hotel yet. I should probably do that tonight before I leave on my river cruise. So we leave Athens, Piraeus, and then we are going to Mykonos, Rhodos, I have been there before. Santorini, haven't been there before. Then we've got a sea day. Then we're gonna be in Dubrovnik, Croatia. Haven't been there either. And then another sea day, and then we finish on September 4th back in Athens. I'm really excited about these, you know, I've seen so much about Mykonos and Rhodos. I know they're beautiful places and I can't wait to go there, swim in this beautiful Turkey's water, have some fried Greek cheese with a glass of red wine. Mm, I can't wait. But even more exciting to me than the destinations is just the ship, the Celebrity Apex, just looks so cool to me. And I can't wait to try it out. And we picked a cabin in the Aqua class. So I think now that we're getting, you know, that I have a little bit of experience with booking a celebrity cruise, I can, I can kind of compare it to MSC. When you book uh, an MSC cruise, you have to pick one of like three cabin categories. And these categories sort of define what it is that's included in your cruise and on what deck your cabin will be on. And booking our cabin on the Apex was very similar. And we booked an Aqua class, so I think that's like the third class up. And don't ask me to tell you what the different classes are right now. I'm not even gonna try because I know I'm gonna get them wrong. Don't have it written down here. Very unofficial travel guides. Here you go. But so I think there's like basic cruise, some kind of class, and then Aqua class. And I'm pretty sure that our cabin is the same kind of cabin as the classes underneath us. 
but the amenities that are included in the cabin, like the soap and I think the bathrobes and stuff like that, I think those are a little bit fancier. We also get, um, well, every, I think celebrity, everybody gets a drink package. Aren't drinks included on celebrity? I might be mixing that info up in my head. We'll find out. One thing I know for sure is that in the aqua class, we get free, uh, entrance to the thermal area and there is like a aqua class only restaurant but it's only for us so people like in the suites can't go to this restaurant if i understand that correctly there's like a sweet restaurant for sweet guests and then there's an aqua class restaurant for us one interesting thing i noticed here while i was looking through the booking information is it even has I guess they must have a thing about having obstructed views on Celebrity or on the Apex. I don't know because it says here, stateroom obstructed 0%. So I think they just wanna make sure that people know in advance, you know, if their view is somewhat obstructed. Speaking of obstructed, if you don't know this, the cabins on these ships, on the Apex and on the Edge, are very different because the balcony is like, part of the cabin. It's hard to explain, but I've, I've seen a couple videos on them now and I'm really excited to see it myself and also to show it to you. So you don't like open a door and go out on the balcony. It's like the cabin just turns into the balcony and you can close that area off. How can you explain this? If you've seen one of these videos of one of these cabin tours or if you have been in one of these cabins, try to explain it to somebody. Like. Pretend somebody's never seen it and write in the comments how you would explain it to somebody. I can't figure it out right now. It's like, it's like a terrace added on to the room and it's outside if you let the glass part down, but if you leave the glass part up, then it's just like an extension of the cabin and not your balcony. How is that? So that's the deal. I don't really have a lot more to say about that than this. And like I said, this is gonna be just a sort of a special Sunday sofa time because I'm traveling right now and I wanted to be sure to get something online for you. There's gonna be no comment on your comments today because I can't comment on last week's video because I just filmed it like a half an hour ago and it's still in the card on this camera. So no comment on your comments, but I'm always happy to read your comments. And I look forward to getting back here in front of the red sofa next week to tell you all about the river cruise. So we can all look forward to getting together again here in a week where I tell you about if what I expected the river cruise to be like, if that's what it was like. Thanks for spending this part of your Sunday or whatever day you're watching this with me. Don't forget, if you wanna give me a little extra support, you can check out patreon.com slash very unofficial or the links to my Amazon store in the description box below. See you soon.